yesterday I was on Netflix and I found a new series started watching it it was called Dear White People and I heard about Dear White People before because if I remember correctly there were a bunch of people that were like ah Dear White People what if we had something called Dear Black People it would be racist and I remember there was a movie before I did not go see the movie but I watched the series and I really suggest that you guys watch the series too. The title is clickbait. So you watch it thinking it's gonna be all about like how white people are terrible and like it's gonna be just like a, a big black rant. And actually, majority of the stories were about issues within the black community, not even about white people themselves. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, girl, pause, come back to it later. We're gonna go episode by episode if you guys don't mind. one I'm gonna tell y'all the truth because when it started out I was like wow they're really bad actors um this is awkward I, I didn't like the um, shooting style I didn't like the acting style but I didn't realize that that was purposeful after maybe like episode two I kind of got used to it episode two is all about my boy Lionel Lionel no, that lineup was gay. So when we got to that scene where he was in his room and his roommate was there, you know, doing his thing behind closed doors, I was very confused as to why the roommate was looking directly into the Lionel's eyes. And I was like, why isn't it focusing on the girl? And then later on when the, his uh, boss, his journalistic boss, uh, confronted him and he was like, yeah, you're also a gay black man. Where's the intersectionality? And he was like, gay? I was like, gay? I don't know how I missed that. I guess my gator is a little off. We're gonna move on to chapter three. That's when we get to meet, um, freaking Mia Long. <laughs> how y'all get Mia Long to be gay? I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend. Then we get to meet Coco, aka Calandria, and we learn about how self-hating some black people can be. Also the issue of colorism, because her best friend is light-skinned and mixed, and she feels like everybody loves her, and Calandria's had like difficulties her whole life with people um, telling her that the dark skin is ugly. With people not get it, giving her the credit that she is due. She's a very smart girl. Um, she's very pretty. She is a good friend. She ends up not being a good friend, but what I'm trying to say is like she she is a good person to be around, and she gets it. She's like, uh, you find out that she's from Chicago. Like, this girl just pretends so that she can fit in. So it's not necessarily that like something is deeply wrong with her, but uh, the circumstances that she's been exposed to in life have brought her to believe that she is not beautiful, that light skin is better, and that she'll always have to compete. Which is tough because I'm not gonna lie, I went through that as well. And in high school, I mostly had white friends. Um, well, my friend group was pretty diverse, but if I had fallen into the system of my school, I could have ended up exactly like Coco. Wouldn't be calling me Judea, you'd be calling me, well, they did call me Juju. Was I a Coco? She didn't get into the sorority that she wanted to be in. We all know what sorority that was supposed to be. Pink and green. She didn't get in. Um, then she decided that she didn't even want to be in because those girls were jerks. I wish she would have known that ahead of time. She had her first pyrgasm. I could tell that she was going to develop into a problem character, and I hated it because, like, she's honestly just a, a, a result of systematic oppression and colorism. And I hate that she had to be it, but. Coco, welcome to your tape. <laughs> I don't know what chapter we found out. I think this was chapter one that we found out Sam had a white day and it was like a huge issue. And actually I'm really glad that they talked about that because the issues with interracial relationships isn't just like on, I guess, like white people's side, but it's also on black people's side. And it's not just from your family, but you can get it from your friends too. And it really, really 
sucks. Sam is biracial herself. I don't understand why everybody had a problem with her having a white boyfriend. Well, I do kind of get it because like all she talked about was how white people were the devil and she was only going to marry a black man. I think she wrote a whole article about why you should only date black and yeah, um, then she turned around and got a white boyfriend and also Reggie had a huge crush on her and she didn't care. <laughs> I guess I can understand why her friends were upset but after they found out, I don't understand why they couldn't just accept it. Like if Sam's happy, he should be happy. That was that was the end of it for me, but not for everybody else. If you didn't think that Sam cheated on Gabe with Reggie, are you stupid? It's been like two episodes now. You still <laughs> you you need her to say that she did it. She she did it. She did it. At first, I was really upset that Gabe left Sam because I was like, oh, you guys could have worked it out. But there are too many instances where Sam put Gabe in a really awkward position and did absolutely nothing to save him from it. Sis, you slept with another man, <laughs> and not just any man, the man that you told Bay not to worry about. Does that sound familiar? Lionel and Silvio. But at the very end, I was like, yo, what is Coco doing? Like, you're turning his father against him, the school board against him. Coke. This is what happens when you don't give a black woman her props. You won't pat her on her back when she does a good job. So she gonna pat her own back and she gonna make sure your back is all scratched up so nobody wants to touch it. What? What is this feel? I don't Dear White People's a Great Show, you guys should definitely watch it. There are going to be moments where you scream, where you laugh, where you cry. But all in all, it was definitely worth it. Netflix, you guys have been dropping bangers lately. Yeah, stay tuned on my channel. There will be a lot of different types of videos that will be coming out. Um, and I'm going on vacation soon, so stay tuned for some vlogs. See you later. Thank you for watching Black Girls YouTube too, because you know we do it for... No. I'm sorry, but Dear White People is racist. If I were to make a show called Dear Black People, they'd be up in arms, says a person who didn't watch Dear White People and didn't know that the majority of the show is not about bashing white people. It's actually about bashing some of the things that happen within black culture and are prominent in black history. But I mean, do you, sis? Do you? <laughs>